Is the claim of whether or not aim assist makes up for the lack of movement on controller a valid excuse when it comes to defending the use of it? This question has been going around especially during the Twitter slander and beef among professional players after Dolphins 1v1 tournament where controller players were dominating the scene. Instead of professionalism and sportsmanship, there's whining and complaining from both sides. My only response to any of this is that Apex is not a game made for 1v1ing and that if you have an issue, do your best to get in touch with the devs. Throughout all this, I found a lot of players stating that aim assist should stay in the game because of the lack of movement given on controller. As a controller player with thousands of hours logged on this game, this is what I have to say. There are two types of movements in this game that you cannot do on controller in Apex Legends. The first movement that you cannot do on controller that you can do on mouse and keyboard is moving while looting death boxes. It helps you avoid getting lasered as you are a stationary target when looting on controller, but is this really a proper defense to the use of aim assist? No. And here's why. When going to loot a death box, the only time it's been effective to move while looting is to avoid getting sniped or shot at, especially from distance. From doing thousands of odd reviews of all skill levels and player types, when it comes to even the most highly competitive and skilled players on mouse and keyboard, they don't go out in the open to loot a death box. So if you want to go out in the open and loot one yourself without being able to move, that's just a death sentence. What you loot and when you loot is based off the position and timing you put yourself in. And if you decide to loot while you have a squad shooting at you, even if you have the ability to move around and avoid a few shots, you're still easy enough to hit and will most likely end up dead. I'd say probably 90% of engagements looting a death box, regardless if you can move while doing it, you'd either get shot up to one shot, then pushed and killed, hurting your team, or you will just straight up die immediately. So in this percentage of engagements, moving while looting would not have mattered, but there is that 10% where moving in a close quarter engagement while looting a death box for a shield swap or ammo is game changing. But the workaround for this makes controller users play safer in these types of fights. The issue can pretty easily be resolved by either making the reach to interact with death boxes a little bit farther so you could do so behind cover, or by making any of the front triggers scroll up or down, the right joystick for the cursor movement, and the left joystick for moving your character, and the rest of the buttons can stay the same. The only people to resolve this issue are the devs themselves, and this has been asked to be implemented into the game for over a year. Keep sending the idea to the devs and maybe they'll do it, or they'll end up staying held by the balls from their big brother E. The second form of movement that is possible on Master Keyboard that you cannot do efficiently on controller is redirecting momentum. This one isn't really an issue with it being difficult to do because it's rather easy. Instead, it's more of an input issue, and here's why. When trying this on mouse and keyboard, you move in one direction at a constant speed no matter how hard you press the keyboard unless you have one of the thousand dollar keyboards that sense your pressure when you press the key. So you move at one constant speed in a single direction, or when you press two keys that are perpendicular to each other, you go in a 45 degree angle in that direction. That makes it pretty limited actually for PC players to move, but it actually allows them to redirect their momentum quite easily through a slide, jump, and a simple look around. With enough practice, one could do it almost 180 degrees, but when it comes to controller, you cannot redirect more than 30% of the way due to a variable speed and direction when using a joystick. So I went out and used a remapper tool to make my D-pad WASD, and even then, this still didn't work. It was a little bit better, but it wasn't like how you could do it on mouse and keyboard. And to be honest, no one's going to fucking make WASD their D-pad. That's just stupid. But in games like Hyperscape, for example, you can perfectly redirect your momentum on controller equal to that on mouse and keyboard. So the result of the issue is that the Apex devs need to implement a fix for this. This is an issue in the game that is input based and is an issue with controller. However, as we've seen from other games like Hyperscape, it is possible. However, the overarching question we have here is if it's valid to claim that aim assist makes up for the lack of movement on controller. I'm pretty sure you should know the answer by now. And as for anyone making this claim to begin with, now you know why you shouldn't compare such two things. An aim feature has nothing to do at all with the movement feature, and that isn't the reason why there's aim assist in Apex Legends. The reason it's even in the game to begin with is so little Timmy can get a kill, feel happy about himself, keep playing and sneak his mom's credit card out of her purse into his hands to buy some skins. 
All it is is just a simple business ploy and the parenting company of Respawn Entertainment is EA. So let that sink in for a second. And now I know that isn't why aim assist is primarily in the game, but it's one of the reasons it is. And it's also one of the reasons Apex will probably not take it out of the game. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, a comment down below containing 1v1 if you made it to the very end. And let's keep the conversation civil, otherwise you probably won't get a response and you'll end up looking like a jackass. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this because I've been Gamer. I'll see you all next time. Peace!